nighttime recording here on the Xiaomi 17 Ultra. And uh, this one is notoriously bad for nighttime recording when you use the default mode and don't use night video mode. Sadly, night video mode is the only mode that you can record in 24 frames per second because otherwise it's recording at 30 frames per second just like it is doing right now. I'm recording here now with the pro mode however and using lock. I've set everything, yeah, almost everything to automatic here. I see a nice bright picture that I can definitely work with. But I also want to try out how it looks like when I just apply the inbuilt LUTs to see how good this is working. But I wanted to check out how good stabilization is working in this mode. Sadly, when I'm recording this here, it is only Timmy and me. And you cannot see Timmy and the street there because I'm not able to switch to the ultra wide angle. So this recording blocks me out of doing this, um, which is a bit of a bummer, I would say. What I can do is stop recording and then I switch to the ultra wide angle now. But you see already it's very, very soft and grainy and has some issues there. Definitely not the best when it comes to the video, especially when we go to the dark here. So I have to stop recording. And I go to 1x again because this is the best sensor here. And when I'm going to this dark conditions, you can see how dark it's looking like here. This is yeah, the only one that will somehow give me usable shots. So what do you think about this one here? I think what I see here so far is quite good. I mean, it's complete darkness. And what do you expect? Like stabilization panning, being totally soft or shit. I don't think so. And the cool thing is here, I can use it for night vision because I don't see actually what's in front of me, but I can see it on the screen of the Xiaomi. With a lock mode, it is brightening everything up and makes everything look flat, but it also allows me to use some kind of night vision to see in front of me, because otherwise I wouldn't see anything here. So I wonder how this will turn out later. Maybe in post, because this is one of the cool features, you can apply the LUT 100% or you can check if you want the LUT only to be applied 50% or 60%. And maybe I will play around with this so you can get somehow of a night vision here. And stabilization on screen at least looks fine. We don't have lights dancing in the background so much. And I'm holding it in one hand because the other hand is like tied to Timmy as you see here. And this would be true stabilization test then. Shake stabilization test. But so far I don't see light flickering. Don't see much of an issue here with pro mode recording on the Xiaomi 17 Ultra. But we have to see how it will look like in the end result. So far I'm quite surprised how well it is from everything that I saw so far from other reviewers as well that uh, showed really bad kind of quality on the 17 Ultra for night recording. But keep in mind, night recording is the worst enemy for tiny sensors. And yeah, one inch sensor sounds big for a smartphone, but in, a, yeah, in the world of cameras, it is a small kind of sensor still. And every bit of light counts then. And if you're going in total darkness, you really have an issue. And yeah, there's a bit of light, a light source that helps with illumination, but also with stabilization, shutter speeds, and so on. Shutter speed should be 1 50th of a second here, locked. And yo, what do you think about this one here? The, if you're interested in this, it's still blocked there. Oh, it's very, very soft. I'm not sure if they're also using denoising in this uh, mode. What's this button here on the bottom doing? Ah, volume adjustment. So yeah, I'm using the internal mics. So hopefully from the mic meter, uh, you should have heard me. I hope the AI noise cancellation also canceled out the cars when I was passing by the street. And yeah, some stairs that I climb now. So how well is this stabilization doing here? Oh, is it usable? That's a big question. So, what do you think about this video here? And maybe let's switch to the normal video.
to show how it will look like there. So this is now the normal video mode and yeah you see here already dancing stabilization issues. Um, wow. Maybe let's switch to the video mode which uh, uh, video night mode I mean which uh, uses 24 frames per second. So this is now the video night mode here 24 frames per second. I think it also has some issues too with the lights they're dancing around in terms of stabilization. It's a bit brighter but is it better than the pro mode with lock? That would be interesting to see. What do you think about this recording here? And uh, yeah, it only makes sense. Oh, look at this. Someone going by with a vest that is blinking in different colors. Interesting. Anyway, um, what do you think about this one here? It makes most sense to just record with the main camera since I don't want to bother using the selfie cam. Selfie cam is the same as the ultra wide angle on the 17 Pro Max. And you saw how bad this was already. There combined with a bad lens, but here the sensor is not so bad. But uh, yeah, um, don't bother using the selfie cam. Don't bother using the ultra wide angle even on the 17 Ultra. The telecam. How about that? Let's switch to pro mode again and we try out the telecam a little bit more. And we are back and I'm recording now with the telezoom lens 3.2 times, so 85 millimeter and yeah, 75 millimeter zoom. It's raining a bit and I'm walking still with Timmy. Maybe I can get him in the shot. There you go. And yeah, some lights in here. Went to a bit of a brighter place. Let's go out of the light there. And uh, yeah, I'm walking and still stabilization is doing quite a fine job, I think. It's not too flickery. Ah, there are a little bit like going on with the flickery there on there. Let's go to 4.3x zoom. It's the maximum optical zoom that you can get, but you can digitalize the zoom up to 12x here. Yeah? 13x almost, 12.9. And stabilization is still working fine. What do we see here? See anything interesting there? Can you read the, what is it, Z6? It should be there in the window. I don't know if it's the upper, it should be the upper window. There you can see it on the wall. It's also written on the window. Let's go back. Oh, the zoom button is not working. Oh, it is working. And let's walk a little bit to see how good this one is. I think this one is barely usable as well. If you have a little bit of light, it is going quite good. But don't move around too much because I'm moving a bit slow because I know that. Focusing on this here. And yeah, what do you think about this one? And what do you think about this night video in general on the Xiaomi 17 Ultra? I have to say I'm a bit surprised. It seems to me that it's working a little better than the Xiaomi, than the Xiaomi, than the uh, Find X8 Ultra that has very bad night video. Especially also on the one in four one inch type sensor. Um, the best so far that I saw out of the box without using lock was the Pure 80 Ultra. And yes, I have the Chinese version of the Pure 80 Ultra. So I'm able to use lock video recording there. And it's RYYB color filter is really helping in those conditions to brighten everything up. But it's not the best in terms of noise because, yeah, smaller sensors, especially the ultra wide angle, is suffering enormously. And they're doing some denoising, some stuff there. The stabilization is working fine for that. And I used it also in these kinds of conditions, maybe not without the rain, with the rain, without the rain. I used it also for recording some nice videos. Oh, this, I can see like the coating, lens coating is not the best there. It's definitely no, no size. Anyway, write down in the comment section what do you think about the Xiaomi 17 Ultra's night video performance here with lock mode. And before I end the video completely, now here, um, yeah, kind of vlogging style with the main one inch type sensor here. Also recording with the pro mode, lock mode and one uh, X and then later graded with the Rec 709, um, just normally applied to it. So what do you think about the recording quality here of the 17 Ultra? Does it have some dancing lights there in the background? I think if you go to really dark conditions, then the shutter speed goes really down. Here with a little bit of light going on, the one inch type sensor should work quite good. And yeah, the audio quality is quite fantastic as well on Xiaomi. It's not as good as Honor or Huawei, but uh, close, yeah, 
thirds there. Uh, Samsung also is on top there, probably with Huawei and, and, and Honor together. So um, yeah, this one here is one tier down, but it's still very, very good in terms of audio quality. Uh, so far, what I heard on the Xiaomi 70 Ultra. And uh, by the way, this is version Hypo S3070. So Chinese version, if you're wondering, um, because there might updates come in the next release that fix some stuff there, that improve stuff there, so that you know which version it is. Or you have a previous version and it was total shit for you, the recording, so that you know, uh, let you, I thought I'd let you know which version I have here, so you know how well this is working here. Going a bit in a darker place now, stabilization, how good, how well is it doing? What do you think about this one here? Write it down in the comment section if you like such videos. Should I do such videos with other smartphones as well? Write it down in the comments as well. Until the next time, bye. Okay, one last thing, because I noticed some other guys were recording at 4K 60 frames per second, where 60 frames per second in this dimlet situation is really not ideal because the shutter speed needs to be way higher and that introduces then some flicker in the background and so on. I really don't like to use 60 frames per second in dark conditions because I know the limitations of physics. And uh, yeah, when I was talking earlier about all the real good smartphones what I'm that are good at night, I was talking about 30 frames per second because this is, or even lower, 24 frames per second because it's helping for night videos for sure. Nevertheless, I wanted to try out 4K 60 frames per second as well in Pro Video Lock with the one inch type sensor. Going now into a bit of a darker condition, there it might be more obvious, more visible. I think the 30 frames per second is working fine, but how well is it working at 60 frames per second? Do we have some flicker in the background? How about like if I pan a little bit like this, left and right? should run into issues there because it's just physics the sensor is just too small for the shutter speed to handle this or the shutter speed cannot be that high because everything will be too dark otherwise so it's a limitation of yeah all smartphone sensors some are doing a bit better some are doing a bit of trickery here and there the iphone for example is doing this oppo is doing this as well and uh, yeah huawei is doing this as well um yeah, what do you think about this one here? 60 frames per second, but as this is a 30 timeline, I will probably put it down to 30 just to, uh, just to let you know how it will look like at 60 frames per second. But there's a little surprise that just arrived on my device. Let's talk about it. Unless I want to finalize the video, I figured out, ooh, there's a new update, free old 10 zero is out now so i thought yeah let's go back to the same spot i went earlier and uh, re-record the video to check out if there's a real big improvements in terms of uh, the camera stability and uh, pro mode 200 megapixel image quality um, is something i have to check out uh, another time but camera stability especially for video mode probably oh uh, yeah we will see anything else that i mentioned here no i think this is a normal attention th kind of thing and yeah, optimizations for NFC, power consumption, certain scenarios, notification shade and control center weren't displayed correctly once pulled down. Never had this issue, so I don't know what's going on. But let's check out the video then. Recording night video mode here on the Xiaomi 17 Ultra using Hypo S3070 and the more normal video mode and night video turned on, which records at 4K 24 frames per second. The only option on this phone to record 24 frames per second. What do you think about the quality here on this firmware version? There's another new firmware version, 3010, and this promises stabilization updates for the camera. I don't know what kind of stabilization updates they mean, either stabilization for video and photos or stabilization of the camera app itself. We have to figure it out. This is the recording with 3070, and in a second you see 3010. So now I'm recording with the new Hypo S3010. This is the new firmware update that promises more stabilized camera. Whatever that means, like I said, I don't know if the camera app itself is meant or video and uh, photo stabilization with OIS and EIS being better here. I'm recording with uh, this new firmware version. Do you notice any difference between this here and the previous video that I did with 3070? 
I hope there is an improvement. I don't know if 3070 was so bad. On my first view on the screen it didn't look so bad. But maybe they improved a little bit here. What do you think? Write it on in the comments section. And that's all. Really, really everything for this video.